Morning everybody, Auntie Crafty here. I'm going to show you how to take a handwritten signature on a piece of paper and we're going to uh, convert it into an SVG file so you can use it on your cutting software uh, and in your cutter and uh, make something fun with it. So I'm just going to go online and pull up just as a, something that I found here just for an example. It's got a brown background. The writing isn't great on it. It's a little bit fuzzy. I don't really care. Let's just use it, okay? So we're going to save the image. And I just went on to Google to find it. I'm just going to call it XYZ, just so I know what it's called. And we're going to save it on the desktop. So we're in Inkscape, and we're just going to import the file. So we're going to go to File, click Import, go to the desktop, and find it. So here it is here. And that's the one I want. This will pop up. Leave where it says embed, leave checked off where it says file, and leave where it says none, and just hit OK. Here we go. So this is our original picture that we've downloaded. So what we need to do is go up to path and trace bitmap. A little screen will pop up on the right hand side here. I'm going to pull this over so you can see it. The default setting for the tracing is eight colors. I'm going to bring this down to four and I'm going to bring the scans down to four as well. You can play around with this until you get it to the what to what you want it. Don't be afraid to, to try some of these different um, things, but brightness cutoff leave. Uh, that's important to leave down here. You're going to see um, different boxes. Always remove, uh, always select remove background because you want the background removed from that picture. And then I'm going to choose colors. Um, I just always do. You don't, you can, again, play around with these. Um, hit live preview, check that off so you can see what you're getting here. So, so click OK. Now this has just flashed quickly at me. You may not have seen it, but it's ready to go. So I'm going to close this off. Now you've got this, you're going to click once and you're going to drag this to the left. This is the new scan of it. Do you see how it's removed all the background? And this is the original picture. So you're going to do the top one to the left, the original one to the right and off the page. And I like to do it just because it's neater for me. So you can, it's up to you really. Um, now we're going to, this hasn't been separated. This has got some layers in it. So we need to separate those. So we're just going to go up to object and ungroup. Okay, object, ungroup. Now it's going to, it's going to ungroup all the different layers. So now we can start pulling them out. And that's it. You've got nothing there. So you've got three of them. And they all look different. See how some are light, some are darker. So if we, we're going to take this one and we're just going to delete it because that's not the one we want. Now I may choose to keep both of these. Um, for different reasons. So I'm just going to highlight both and then I'm going to group it. Um, I don't know if you know how to highlight both on here. So just take your mouse uh, on the upper left top around it and drag your mouse down. Holding your mouse down just drag it down and it puts up a box around each one. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to hit group. So now it changes and it's all one. I'm going to go to, over to the original, click on it once and hit delete. Go back to my group and now I can hit file and save as. So now I can save this as um, an SVG. So I'm going to call it XYZ and it and it'll save it as an Inkscape file. So that's great. I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'm also going to click again on it where the arrows become rounded and I'm going to hit export. So in this one, I'm going to hit export as going to go to my desktop. I'm going to hit it at XYZ and it's going to be a ping file only because I can use it as an overlay for my um, blanks. If I'm, if I'm doing staged photos with blanks, I can use that ping file as an overlay for it, which is kind of fun to do. And I always save all SVG files as pings as well, or PNG files. I call them pings um, just so that I can do that. So there we go. I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to go back to export 
area and hit export because we exported it as and we named it and now we're going to hit actually export it. So now it's exported it to my desktop. So now we can close this. So it's saying, you know, do you want to save the changes? Say no, don't worry. You've got it all saved to your desktop. So you're good to go. So now I've got these files on my desktop and I'm going to open up um, Cricut Design Space because that's what I'm working with today. So here it is. I've got the fatter and I've got the thinner or the thicker and the thinner. And I can ungroup so I can use whatever one I want. And these are cut files now so I can use them um, on a pillow, on a t-shirt, on a mug, on whatever I'd like to. I can you know clean it up if I need to um, and we're good to go. Thanks all for watching. Have a good day.